Guys, I was thinking she might come back this way. It's a bit of a gap in the bush here, and she just went off to, to defecate, actually. It's interesting that lions, like most other cats, they don't like to uh, do their business close to where they eat. So um, I was hoping she'll walk back up this clearing, but it seems she's going to go in behind the brush there. Let me give her a few minutes to settle down again, see where she goes. Well guys, look at this as well. Unfortunately, we're going to have to drive through it, but uh, let's give it a... Okay, this is Abel giving me some information now. I'm going to tell you what it is now. Yeah, two of them. I'm just going to give the spider a second or two. I'm just going to... Uh, sorry, it's just lots of interest in this. I'll explain all of it to you just now. Quibus, uh, this two in Gala, he's a two of um, op Drakensburg Drive, net Biki site van Gwari Pan, site van Bevosuk Dam. So, figure out our Kuru Ball. Okay, copy. Ah, sorry, lots of interest, obviously, just forming the radios there, but just to fill you in on the information we got there now. Okay, copy over here for you, convoy. Now, um, I was saying that Abel was just telling from Nyala Dam, so that tells us this is the Kuhuma Pride females. Also tells us there might be more here, but it's like I said, the tracks only have two lionesses, so it should be the two of them. And they've already eaten quite a bit. There's still a lot of food left here. I'm just looking at the kudu, it's just lying here to our right. There's um, enough food left here, I'd stay for another day or two. Also, just to draw back to the sort of guesswork earlier with these vultures around, it shows that these vultures ago, um, I don't mean that in a, in a family kind of way, I mean in terms of the conditions. They would have pulled it in here sometime today. This kudu was only killed this afternoon, probably, during the middle of the day, even. Ah! So exciting. I love this. I'm going to try and squeeze closer again. She seems comfortable enough with us. Unfortunately, this is the only gap to get in here. So we're just going to have to see how she. As she responds to us. Just look at how well she blends in. I mean, if, you, if we just stop moving, we wouldn't even see her. That's right there, and just and she's in the open, 10 meters away. Let's just try and see. Don't bother her, but she seems very relaxed with us. Oh no, we're not going to get closer than that. There you can see the kudu. Yeah, well, we can see I'm going to turn a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's what we can do for now. Is it there? Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, she's there. Sorry, Alex. I thought she was... Um, no. Let's try and reposition ourselves here. You can see a lot of thick bush around here. This obviously is going to help them as well. Perfect kudu habitat. Oh, still spider web sitter. Perfect kudu habitat. But also nice and thick bush, so if they could see the kudu without getting hurt and stalk it to get it. Let's see, maybe through this. Let's find a little gap through the tree. Ah, yeah. oh, that could be nice. Look at that. Oh. Hey, would we have lion? Yeah, look at those eyes. I think any of the big predators, they've got totally mesmerizing eyes. You can look into those eyes and forget about anything else you were thinking about go as far as to say it sort of speaks to a certain primal part in us, it reminds us of the days before we had cement houses and motor cars.
I just rolled a bit too much forward there. Oh, but you are beautiful. It's been quite a while since we've seen lions, or lionesses, shall I say. The last lions we saw with them are pojo males. Guma females have been living further up north. Yeah, I'd say lunchtime, huh? There's also these lions, they might feed a little bit again, maybe now or later into the evening. But they are very, very full, as you can see, just the fast breathing, the panting. Go and take a left there, south, and then I actually heard him over just now, I'm sure it's you. So just keep coming south, you'll see me, I'm just on the, if you're heading south on your right hand side, just into the bush there. It's about 10 meters off the road. As I was saying, very full belly. for now. There we go. Lying a little bit flatter. That's the other lioness. That's the one we actually spotted first. Remember we saw right next to the road. So at first thought it was just one lioness and then um, she moved around and we saw there were two. This would also be a great little spot later on maybe if they do feed again. I think we'll find a little window through to the carcass here. Here's just lazily flicking every now and again, chasing flies away. Oh well. Never know what's going to happen next. is something lions are exceptionally good at being lazy lying around see if actually sort of looking into the rib cage there as you can see when lions kill something on the occasion when you get you, you do get them either as they make the kill or shortly after almost straight away almost eyes are one of them they eat the eyes is one of the first things they go for and then once they can get into the body into the, the sort of the internal parts if you want they go for the liver and I've also seen them males especially I don't know if it's just coincidence that I saw it that way but they tend to eat the bladder sac or the whole bladder very funny thing to see because the lion's face doesn't look very happy with it. It looks almost disgusting or disgusted with it. Yeah, the runs run out and eats the whole bladder. Now, again, that just shows you that these animals, very instinctively or more likely through learned behavior, they've learned that there's certain things they need to eat to get certain minerals and certain vitamins, things that they need to be healthy. So again, that inside all cleaned out. <laughs> She's not doing much. Flicking the tail and flicking the ears. Bit of a cooler breeze coming down now, which is nice. I'm sure they're enjoying it. I said both these lionesses look very hot and uncomfortable. That she might get up and move. But like I said, I've got a feeling it's going to be like this for a while. So, um, we'll sit a bit more, see what happens, and then maybe make some space for other vehicles and come back here later on. Plus, also in the morning tomorrow, again, not to preempt or predict or even promise anything. And that kudu carcass looks big enough to keep them busy 